Hi, Lynn Zettler from Port Impact Coaching today. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about getting out of your own way in leadership especially. I remember a time when I stepped into one of my first roles as a leader and I felt like I was never getting enough accomplished. But it was because I kept measuring myself based on what I was doing and what I was delivering. And there is this chasm that needs to be uh, leapt over by every new leader of from the doing to the leading. So naturally, um, I've discussed with a lot of my clients who find themselves in this position, we've discussed several things to help them make that change. So leading doesn't mean that you stop accomplishing tasks or, or getting uh, tangible results. You still do to some degree, but it shouldn't be your primary focus. So let me give you a little bit of an analogy. If we look at the difference between a doer and a leader, a doer packs the bags, ensures the proper processes have been followed, and everything's ready to go. They're double checking a checklist and they're delivering the bags, you know, on time to the team. A leader, on the other hand, has determined the destination and they've determined the best path to get to the destination. They also look at what materials and supplies are needed and they provide a timeline and the number of resources that are required. So see, they have the bigger picture. So how do you transition from that doer packing the bags to that leader of you know planning the entire trip? Well, I have five things for you to consider and you can start one step at a time. First, be the best doer you can be, right? That will always get you attention. You will be that team player, that volunteer who does things happily and this great can-do attitude. It will get you the attention that you need first and foremost to be chosen to be that leader. So this should never end. It doesn't mean that as a leader, you're constantly doing, but it does mean that sometimes you are jumping in. So for example, I've worked with a CEO who has this fabulous attitude that, I mean, she takes out the trash sometimes. I was at a meeting where we needed drinks. She went and got drinks because the receptionist was on vacation. She happily does whatever task is needed. So that should never end. So don't get in your own way by refusing to do something that you think is beneath you or something that you don't think is fair. Just do it happily, be the team member. Number two, look at everything as an opportunity, even if it feels like extra work. So look for those opportunities. If there's someone out on maternity leave, how can you, be, how can you help? You'll be known as somebody that people will always count on, right? Use those things as your springboard to shine. Don't get in your own way by thinking that things are unfair or that management should be doing a better job so you won't go that extra mile. You know, that's getting in your own way. Number three, determine what boundaries uh, you'll put in place for yourself, right? A good leader doesn't just keep taking on more work. They look at the workload, they prioritize, they determine what can and can't be accomplished. So make sure that you get into that mode of thinking. And sometimes this takes some guts, right? Sometimes you got to push back, especially if um, you're being asked to do things that are unreasonable. But you probably uh, know, right? If, if you're being asked to do something or your team is being asked to do, something, you know the view of the work you know what's best and what can be reason what can be reasonably achieved right so don't get in your own way here and make up a story about what people know to be true or don't know to be true because they probably don't don't get in your own way by assume, assuming things ever number four focus on what you have control over not what is in someone else's sandbox, I call it. So if it's someone else's responsibility, that's not where your focus should be. Stay focused, staying focused is, is one of the most prized possessions of a good leader. They don't need to spend time whining about what someone else has or has not done. That's just wasted energy. So instead, those good leaders, they'll focus on what they can do and spend that energy pushing for a positive outcome. So don't get in your own way by pointing elsewhere instead of at your own heart first, right? 
where you're at. And lastly, number five, start each day with your own positive can-do mental vision for yourself. So think of what puts you in a fantastic mood. What could just make you dance and not have a care in the world? Is it walking on a beach? Is it spending time with your family, feeling loved by someone, or even cuddling with your dog? Any of those things, whatever it is for you, that's the kind of energy that you need to bring to the workplace in order to be the best you can be, right? So start each day with that picture, that song, that reading, whatever it is. You know, have something in your office that reminds you of that, a personal mantra that, that you can uh, put on your screen or something um, on your phone that comes up as a reminder throughout your day. Those will help you keep that energy throughout the day. And it's not that you won't feel frustration on occasion, but you can keep a cooler head and make smarter decisions when we're in a positive state of mind. So don't get in your own way by having a bad attitude or getting sucked into having a bad day. Have a great day instead. And what I say too is be a great day. So I hope that's helpful to you. Please go to our website, sign up for our leadership uh, newsletter there. Contact me if you have any um, need for executive or leadership coaching. And also go to YouTube, go to our YouTube channel. It's Lynn Zettler Core Impact Coaching and find lots more videos there with helpful tips. Thanks so much and be a great day.